Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, we got some reveals for uh, the Superstar promo coming this Friday. So on August the 20th, this will be released into the game. So that's worldwide launch, actually. So Madden 22 officially comes out on August 20th, obviously. The pre-order came out on Tuesday, which was actually yesterday. Um, you know, some people were able to get it for free when they made their trip to New Zealand, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but obviously, we have the trial that came out, I believe, what, the, the Friday before, I think, or Thursday? Something like that. The trial came out. You had 10 hours. You, you know, there's a lot of things. A lot of ways you can get more than 10 hours. Um, I actually was on Xbox One, uh, played like six hours, and then apparently I didn't have any more hours. I don't know what happened. I tried to load back into the game, and apparently it didn't let me, so I said my 10 hours ran out. Uh, and then actually I got on Next Gen. Um, yes, that's right, I got Next Gen, so we'll be on Next Gen for this year's Madden. Um, and I actually got 10 more hours, so I was able to play those hours. And then that, you know, that carried me into um, Tuesday, which was the pre-order day. And now... A couple days into Madden, we are now getting our first promo, and that first promo is going to be the Superstars promo. So you guys see here, Mutt Superstars, all X Factors included, available 820. Marlon Humphrey, Adam Thielen, uh, Brian Balaga, uh, Emmanuel Ogda, Leonard Floyd, and Ben Jones. So a Tennessee Titans is going to be getting a player item to, uh, or I should say today, but Friday, they reveal them today, more is coming tomorrow, so more reveals tomorrow, so this is not launching tomorrow, uh, they're going to be launching on Friday, but let's go ahead and get into it, Marlon Humphrey here, to make cornerback, man-to-man -man corner, 87 speed, 87 excel, he's got 83 agility, 81 jumping, sorry for the, for the image being so blurry, I don't know why, what to fix, how that's why it's so blurry, I don't know why, but He's got 88 play rank, 89 man, 84 zone, 88 press. So a solid cornerback, very solid. Obviously, you got the built-in abilities. Uh, Acrobat has always been a, um, a favorite ability of, of for most people. Um, I think that's deep zone knockout or, or deep knockout or something. And this is... Let me see if I can make this bigger here. Yeah, so this I can't tell. Maybe short knockout uh but these abilities here they are pretty important because training at the beginning of the year is very expensive unless you got on the glitch where you could refund the patch of Mahomes card art over and over again that's not patch so you can't do that anymore but uh training at this point in the year is very very expensive so there's marlon humphrey we also have adam thielen slotomatic is very good basically this is like route technician uh unless when when your wide receivers line up in the slot so uh, you got wide out wide out and then guy in the slot uh, Adam Thielen is actually going to be able to get slot which is basically going to have uh, better route cutting while when lined up in the slot. And I can't tell. This looks like Replenish or something like that. I think that's Replenish. It's so blurry I can barely tell. Basically, I think that's the one where his stamina is able to replenish more often after every play. Uh, but he's working with 84 speed, 84 jumping, 84 catching, 84 catching traffic, 88 spectacular catch, 84 short route running, 83 medium route running, and, uh, and, and 81 deep route running. Moving on here, Brian Balaga. This is going to be edge protector, a very, very good um, ability to start the year. And this is something, but it's not any good. I'll tell you that much because I remember no, no one ran this uh, back in Madden 21, but we'll see. I, I want to look these up uh, and double check on, on these. But he is rocking with 82 strength. 86 awareness, 85 pass block, 84 pass block power, uh, 82 pass block finesse, 77 run block, 77 run block power, and 72 run block finesse. So obviously much better in the passing, uh, pass blocking ability there is much better. Um, uh, I just want to see if I can find some abilities here. All right, I think I found it here. Um, let's continue. Brian Balaga. And I think I just skipped someone. Emmanuel Ogba. 78 speed, 83 excel, 79 strength, 82 tackling, 82 play rec, 76 block shed, 83 power move, and 70 finesse moves. The only good thing about him is kind of got very, pretty solid power move there. Um, 
trying to see if I can find these abilities here. Um, might not be able to. But y'all can help me out on these abilities too. Looks like he's going to get unpredictable. What is that? I can't tell what that is, but if y'all can help me out down below, please do. Leonard Floyd, this is going to be speed, sir. Uh, 82 speed, 85 excel, 74 strength, 78 tackling, 78 play rec, 76 block shed, 71 power move, and 82 uh, finesse move. I can barely make out these stats. And finally, we got our guy Ben Jones. And speaking of a center, we'll get into one here in a minute. Um, 83 strength, 84 awareness, 82 pass block, 79 pass block power, 82 pass block finesse, 83 run block, 79 run block power, and 83 run block finesse. So again, help me out. I can't make that out there. But if y'all can help me out uh, there. I, th I remember seeing this, but I can't remember what it does. But help me out there. Let me know down below what these abilities do. Uh, but Ben Jones, these are built-in abilities. So what's interesting here is Ben Jones has a little power-up symbol here. So does he? will he get a power-up tomorrow as well? Um, and I don't think Leonard Floyd has a power-up in the game. Manuagua, some of these guys may or may not have power-ups. But I know for a fact that Ben Jones does not have a power-up in the game because I have his core gold. He's going to be pretty good to get an upgrade there at center. Um, but we'll see how long that lasts. Maybe just one day because we scroll up and we see big old Bruce Matthews. We know he's going to be in the game every year. He's in the game year in and year out. So let's go ahead and check out big boy Bruce Bruce Matthews, much better quality here on this image. So we see the legend card art, um, not bad at all. Uh, I do. They they went a little. Um, I think last year, what was the card art last year? I think we had we had an LTD and a normal card art, but obviously, first release of the game. Um, I don't think we had any LTDs, and then I think a second or third week when we before first introduced with LTDs. Here's Bruce Matthews. So like I said, we get the Ben Jones. Uh, and I was like, oh, Ben Jones, hey, Ben Jones, that's a great upgrade for the center spot. And then, bang, we get Bruce Matthews, who is six overalls higher. He's going to come in with a power-up. Um, super excited, super excited. So, normally, you don't want to see guys get upgrades around Christmas just because that's kind of the, the, the like, you saw Kevin Mawai. He got a 96 overall, and he never got an upgrade for the rest of the year. So, you kind of want to get an early upgrade and then maybe bruce gets you know i don't know a 94 95 sometime in the future and then he gets an ultimate legend we know bruce max is going to guarantee get ultimate legend at the end of the year every year or power up expansion something um uh, but what i was saying is you don't want to get upgrades where maybe a player's like 95 powered up to 96 or 94 powered up to 95 because you don't know if he's going to get another upgrade throughout you know through the rest of the year um so that's kind of one why you want upgrades early in the year and then late in the year uh, obviously you want upgrades whenever, um, but certain guys like last year, like got, some guys, that, for example, got team of the year. Um, some of those guys are really good players and deserve 99s, but they just didn't get an upgrade because they had such a high overall card already. So that's kind of what I'm picking at there. Um, and some of like Aaron Rodgers, he eventually got a golden ticket, but Aaron Rodgers definitely deserved a 99 overall instead of that 97 overall, um, uh, what, what do you call it? The, the, the player of the year. Uh, I don't know what they call it. I forgot what they called it. Uh, the honors card. The honors card. So he got that and probably would have never gotten an upgrade throughout the rest of the year. Same with Derrick Henry. But Derrick Henry ended up getting a 99. But, um, you know, kind of guys that have that mid, uh, mid, like 95, 96 overall cards, when they get an upgrade, you just don't know if they're going to get another one. So this is why I'm happy with the Bruce Matthews. Obviously, we know he's going to get an ultimate legend. Uh, but I, I probably lost y'all. I, I know I've lost y'all. Let's get into the stats. 87 strength, 87 awareness, 90 pass block, 87 pass block power, 87 pass block finesse, 90 run block, 90, uh, 89 run block power, and 88 run block finesse. We all know Bruce Matthews is a versatile offensive lineman. We see him. He's coming in as center this year. He was center last year. He was a left guard the year before. Um, in Madden 19, I think it was a center. So um, the last three or four years, he's uh, uh, going to be a center. Uh, the one year he wasn't, he was a left guard. Um, but we know that we can throw Bruce Matthews out of position if needed. Um, so more than likely, Bruce Matthews will probably go to right guard um, just because we have a hold there with Nate Davis. I've kind of had to move Jack Conklin to left guard or right guard for now. But now we can have maybe I move 
maybe I'll move Ty Sambrella to left tackle, Conklin to right tackle. We go Saffold at uh, left guard, center we have Ben Jones, and then right guard have Bruce Matthews. So that's a very solid offensive line to start the year. Very, very solid. So uh, this is why I waited to do a theme team video. I don't know how quick I'm going to get my hands on this Bruce Matthews. It's going to be very hard, especially powering up a guy like this. He's going to be very expensive. Um... But yeah, I might have to, I might have to, you know, do some grinding. I got, I got about two hundred fifty thousand coins right now. Um, decent amount of training, definitely not enough to power him up all the way, because um, I still have yet to get my hands on an eighty-eight overall Derek Henry to put him in a power up. Um, so again, I've got, I've got, I've got to do some grinding. Got to get ready because I think Saturday will be the first Titan Team Team episode. So yeah, I have, the team's pretty much ready. All I need is obviously the Ben Jones coming on Friday. Bruce Matthews coming on Saturday. We might get to more legends too. Who knows? Because I know I know they like to do a big drop of legends at the beginning of the year. But let's go ahead and get to the next guy. Talked a little bit about, about Bruce Matthews. A little too long. Here's Demarcus Ware. He's got 86 speed, 87 excel, 80 strength, 83 tackling, 87 play rec, 88 block shed, 82 power move, and 88 for that move. So a really, really solid, solid, solid outside linebacker um, that can get to the quarterbacks. So 88 block shed, which is very good. Going to be solid against the run. Power move at 82 is a little low, but it's fine because he has that finesse move at 88. Um, so, again, an all-around outside linebacker um, with solid speed. Very solid speed. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's about it. Um, Demarcus Ware and big boy Bruce coming tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Until next time. I'll see y'all.